Hey guys, the bad again. I'm back with a different type of haul. This haul kind of like um, needs a, a little explanation. Um, apparently, I was traveling and uh, don't frequent this shop very often because um, it's not really a comic book shop. It's basically a um, bookstore, but they have comic books and they do have a few, uh, I guess, subscribers because I see behind their um, register. They have uh, comic books with uh, people's names attached to them and, and whatnot. Um, but at this store, apparently uh, he's been having overstock that uh, he just wanted to get rid of. And um, by chance, I just happened to be in there looking looking for a particular comic book, new book, and it wasn't there. So um, on my way out, uh, I looked over on to the side of my eye and I saw um, a couple um, long boxes. And um, one long box had like grab bags where they had like uh, three or four books uh, wrapped together, but you couldn't tell what it was. It was a grab bag. You could buy that. I think it was uh, $5 a pop. Then I noticed these other two boxes had comic books. Um, and they were... Um, 25 cents a piece, five for a dollar, or 30 for five dollars. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to take a look. So I'm saying it's probably just a bunch of junk books. But I end up buying 90 comic books, and I only paid $15.90. Excuse me. Um, so. This video is all of these books that I got basically for 17 cents a piece. And I don't know how long he's going to do this, but every time that I've been back in there, there's been um, more added to it. So I'll, I'm going to keep <laughs> popping in that store at least once every two weeks to um, go through this box until, you know, he ends stops doing this but for um 17 cents a comic book man i mean you can't beat it even though a lot of these are new but i got a, a caboodle load of variants um which kind of surprised me you know but um let's get on with the video i already spent two minutes yapping and we haven't shown really one comic all right let's start with um war of the realms the punisher number three i picked that one up for um out of the box. Thunderbolts 163. First issue of A New Era. I think this book, to me, uh, The New Age of Heroes from DC has a lot of sleeper books. And I think in time, they're going to get to do. I akin the Terrifics to the Doom Patrol. And I love the Terrifics. They're one of my uh, favorite books. I got every issue. And... Every time I see issue number one, uh, I pick it up. So I picked up three more copies of the Terrifics. Slapstick, number one, even though this is his second uh, volume, I picked up two copies of that. These characters are supposed to make a reemergence uh, from the secret warps. Uh, this is the Arachnite Annual Number One, uh, Secret Warps Part Two, Weapon Hex. I like that character. I like Weapon Hex. I thought it was a good character. Star Number Three picked up another copy of Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton. Here's another New Age hero I think is gonna is basically slept on, sideways, picked up. These were more or less uh, filler issues for me. Six, five, two, the first appearance of, what's the name, Tempest Fuginato, or Fuginato, uh, however you pronounce it. And I picked up another issue number one. This is my favorite um, well, one of my favorites of the sleeper um, New Age of Heroes, Silencer. 
I think she has a, 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 a good chance of showing up in D.C. proper. I mean, she is in D.C. proper, but really becoming a major player in D.C. comics. This is the annual with her meeting with Batman. Issue number eight. Issue number seven. Issue number six. Number five. I do not care too much for the John Romita Jr. art. Though. Look at um Deathstroke's face with the gun jammed up in his <laughs> in his grill. <laughs> oh man! Issue number four. Number two. Pick those up. Couldn't pass them up. And, I mean, it really shocked me that the quality of the books, I mean, that they had. And for the price, I just couldn't I just couldn't believe it. Uh, Xenoscope, issue number one, Neverland Hook, was an art germ cover. Killmonger, number one. Gwen Stacy, I picked up another copy of the Adam Hughes cover for issue number one. Avengers Wasteland, which is being revisited again. Um, Avengers of the Wasteland, issue number one. Pick that up. Weapon Plus, number one. This book was hot for a minute. Young Squadron. Uh, and apparently, uh, Nighthawk is working on bringing this universe back to life. Uh, apparently, uh, they... Um, all didn't die when the universe reset itself back to normal. War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number four. Young Justice, number 10, when uh, Naomi appearance, number two. These are all extras for me, but I mean, I just couldn't pass them up. Number two, uh, early appearance of the all new all new Teen Lantern, Jenny Hex. Number fourteen, West Coast Avengers. Number five, West Coast Avengers. Number six, uh, West Coast Avengers. Number seven, that's a good cover with um. Hawkeye and Marble Boy. Infinity Warps uh, number two of the Iron Hammer. Infinity Warps number two of Weapon Hex. Age of Conan number three, Valeria. Star Wars Darth Vader number 19. New Age of Heroes again. Curse of Brimstone, number one. Arrow, number one. Bizarre Adventures, number one. Swordmaster, number one. I picked up two copies of that. Werewolf by Night, number two. Picked up a copy of that. High Level, number one. Meet the Scrolls, number two. Canto and the Clockwork Fairies, the one shot. Luna Snow, number one. It's a beautiful cover by In Huck Lee. Uh, White Fox, another beautiful cover, number one. As Guardians of the Galaxy, number four. Homesick Pilots, number one. These Marvel Comic Presents, issue number two and issue number three. Hot Shots, issue number four. I think Hot Shots is going to be a sleeper. Uh, that group, that character, oh, characters uh, make a nice team. And I think they'll be back.
New Age of Heroes Damage number two. Avengers Prelude, issue number one. Great Thanos uh, film cover. The Union, variant edition, issue number one. I think all the rest of these are nothing but variants. The Rise of Ultraman, number two. Infinity Wars, number two. Infinity Wars, number four, with a female Kang. Infinity Wars, number five. Infinity Wars, number five, again, with the Uncanny X-Men on the cover. Infinity Wars, number one, and Infinity Warps, number one, beautiful rack that cover by Adam Kerber, uh, Adam Kerber, <laughs> Adam Kerber, <laughs> okay, Infinity Wars, <laughs> number um, five, a great Gamora and Thanos cover by Ron Lim. Number three, Infinity Countdown. Infinity Countdown Prime, number one. Infinity Countdown, number one. Gwen Stacy, number one. J. Scott Campbell. Oh, why I keep wanting to go to the side? Bill Sienkiewicz, Dazzler number one. And all these books, basically, 95% of them are 9.8 quality. Moon Knight, number one. And I guess because of the size of his store, of the store that uh, him and his wife have, that they really don't have the room to keep uh, a lot of backlog of comic books. So um, I guess what's over six months or whatever, or he has a lot of them, he just puts them in that box for um, for sale like that. But I know I, um, I'm going to be frequenting <laughs> this store a lot more to see what pops up. Picked up two copies of Marvel Knights number one. This is Marvel Knights uh, number one variant again. With Kingpin and Daredevil. Marvel Knights uh, number two. Punisher and Bullseye. Marvel Knights number uh, six with the Incredible Hulk. And like the thing. Deceased, Curse of uh, Deceased, issue number uh, five. Beautiful cover. Luna Snow, variant cover, issue number one. Age of Conan Valeria, number one. The action figure variant. So tell me what you think. Do you think I, I well, made a deal? He, I, I didn't lose, so. <laughs> you know, John Walker, U.S. agent number one. Ruin of Ravencroft, Sabretooth. Ruins of Ravencroft, Dracula. Ruins of Ravencroft, Carnage. Star Wars Darth Vader Annual 2, Strike Force Number 1, The Immortal Variants. I, like I said, I'm not a fan of these Immortal Variants. Some of them were pretty good, but for the most part, I didn't under really understand the concept too well. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, Issue Number um, 50, The Last Issue, Savage Avengers Number 13, Doctor Strange, I call this cover a waste of space <laughs> because it's all art is at the very bottom and the rest of it black.
Star War Secret Warps um, Soldier Supreme Annual Number One, Thor Number Nine. I think this is a Nolan variant. No, it's not a Nolan. It's a um, uh, what is his name? It almost sounds like Nolan. Hold on a second. Uh, Noto. Old Man Logan, second print variant for number 70. Old Man Logan, second print variant for number 72. X-23, number 6 variant. Werewolf by Night, number 1. I think that's the -the glow-in-the-dark variant. Lucy Claire Redemption, number 1, the B cover. Action figure variant cover for Swordmaster number one. Absolute Carnage, uh, third printing number one. Sorry for the glare, guys. And the last little bit that I have left War of Realms, of the Realms, issue number four, number six. War of the Realm Strike Force, uh, the War Avengers number one, uh, Stormbreakers, War as Hell number one, Marco Cicchetto cover with Cap, Black Widow, and Wolverine, Stormbreakers, Gunhawks number one by Aaron Cooter. Apparently, that's um. Uh, Black Panther, Stormbreakers, War of the Realms, number six, uh, Mike Del Mundo cover of Thor, Tony Stark, Iron Man, number six, with War Machine, Wonder Comics, Young Justice, number one, Sketch Variant, this one, uh, Apparently, it was worth a little bit of money, as well as this one. Young Justice, number one. The variant, all because of the Teen Lantern. This book uh, had went up to a, a pretty good premium. Uh, Young Justice, number nine variant. And finally, number eight variant. And like I said, all these books roughly totaled out. To 17 cents a copy. And um, I, I was happy. I found this little secret. Uh, I call it a uh, modern day honey hole for modern day. I guess modern day books. Because it looked like most of the books were, uh, um, were modern. Uh, like I said, I think it's all his overstock. That um, well, at least something to look at while I'm talking. Overstock that um, like I said, because the um place that he has is so small that he really can't uh keep it, keep anything in there basically, um, unless he has a, a second place for storage. But um, for the most part, um, I'm happy. I, I was like, yeah. that was a surprise, a surprise to me. And as long as he's rolling with it, I'm going to roll along <laughs> right with it. I'll pick him up. I have no problem with that. I love bargains. And like I said, they're out there. Sometimes you just got to look. And sometimes they pop up at the least uh, place that you would think. And like I said, I went in there looking for a specific new comic at that time. And um, the first time I went. That's what really got me into it. All of these are um, basically from three visits in uh, the past time that I've been out. And the most recent visit was basically yesterday. I went there yesterday and picked up another 30. That's within this um, the showing of 90 comics. And uh, like I said, he's putting in new comics 
when he does it, I don't know because I haven't been in there in, in like two weeks. So I, I figure roughly two week period, every two weeks, I'll pop in there to see what's going on. And apparently, um, I sound like that little kid in the video. Apparently, and apparently, but apparently, <laughs> uh, what clientele he has in comic books really aren't up to, I would say, up to snuff on collecting. I think, like, uh, the store is kind of like a hip, uh, a hip type of store. It's like um, I look at all the books that they have that they um, that they uh, that they sell in there, and a lot of the books are like um, not new age stuff, but kind of in that vein, you know, uh, more or less. And I think the the people who buy comics from there um, aren't your typical type of collector or uh, they have a certain book that they like and that's the only book that they get, you know? So, which makes it great for me because <laughs> I get the spoils, but, um, other than that, you know, I, I thank y'all for watching the video. Hope you enjoy it. Give me some feedback on it. And, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.